Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be breaking down how to create this flash wipe effect from the Murder Beats Hood Politics music video. And if you guys are familiar with this channel, you guys already know that I'm a big fan of those one frame effects and transitions. And I thought this one looked really dope and unique. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So here in After Effects, I have these clips from Tana's music video. I'll be using that in order to create this flash wipe transition. And the first thing we're going to do is just focus on these first two layers. So I'll just cut down this timeline and then we're going to have this first part be or the second clip be one frame layers. So just go forward one frame, click Control Shift D in order to cut that layer and then go forward another frame, click Control Shift D again. So we have three cut layers from the same clip. And the first thing we're going to do is make these layers black and white in order to create that flash effect. So let's add a tint and then we're going to add an exposure. For this first part, I want it to start out pretty bright. Let's increase the exposure to, I think two should be good. I'm also going to increase the offset just by a little. I'll increase that to 0 0.02 and then go forward to the next frame. I'm just going to copy and paste these effects. Click Control C click Control V in order to copy and paste the effects and then increase exposure because I want this to be even brighter. I want this to be like really bright. So let's increase this to around like nine and then also increase the offset to 0.15. Then grab these layers again or grab the effects again and copy and paste it to the next layer. For this one, let's decrease the exposure. I want this to be a lot darker. So let's just decrease this to like negative two and then also decrease the offset. I'll just decrease that to 0 0.15. So we have a lot darker layer. So it starts off pretty bright and then it gets even brighter and then it gets dark. Then for this next part, we're going to be adding a picture of an eye. I literally just went on the internet and searched up eye picture. So you can just search one up, download it, and then import it here to After Effects. So after downloading it, you want to drag it into your composition. I have a picture of this eye right here. And for this one, we want to make it similar to the Murder Beats music video where the eye was like really zoomed in. So let's increase the scale by a lot. I'll increase this to like around thing like right there. And then also move the position. We want to have the eye like right at the center and make this eye layer four frames. I also want it to appear right after the first flash effects. So let's change the time of this composition. I'll increase this to like three seconds and then bring the other clips forward so that we can fit the eye layer into the composition. And once we do that, go forward one frame and just cut that layer because for this eye layer, we're also going to be creating that really fast flash effect. Let's create a new adjustment layer. Click Control Alt Y and make sure it's the same length as the eye layers. Also change the color of these layers so that it's easier to identify. For this one, we're also going to be creating that one frame flash effect similar to the first part right here. And for this one, let's add an exposure, decrease the exposure. I want this to be really dark, so I'll just decrease this to negative five. Then we're going to create another adjustment layer. Make sure for this one, it's only one frame and bring it forward, add the exposure effect. And for this one, we're going to have it a lot brighter. I'll increase this to six. For this layer, we're going to mask out the top part because I only want the top part of this eye layer to be bright. So grab the rectangle tool and just mask out like the upper part. And then click that layer, click M twice in order to open up the mask settings. Increase the mask feather because I want the edges to feel smoother. So let's just increase that to 100. Then we're going to duplicate this layer again. Click Control D, bring that layer forward. For this one, instead of having the top part masked out, we're going to mask out the bottom part. So let's just delete the mask for this one and then create another one right here. And of course, you want to make sure that the mask feather for this one is also at 100. I'm also going to keep the exposure settings as it is. Then we're going to duplicate this layer one more time, bring that layer forward. And for this one, just delete the mask effect because I want the entire layer to be a lot brighter. I'm also going to increase the exposure just by a little, increase this to like 6.50. So now we have that really fast one frame effect for this eye layer. All right, so for this next part, I have this clip of this car from the same music video. So obviously in order to get the best results, you want to make sure you have B-roll footage in order to create this transition. So let's go forward one frame and cut that layer, create a new adjustment layer above this layer and make sure this one is also one frame. Add the exposure effect. For this one, I want it to be a lot darker because the frame before it was really bright. So we're creating that 
kind of like that light flicker effect. Let's decrease the exposure. I want it to be pretty dark. So let's decrease that to like negative two. I think that looks good. And then go forward one frame. And I'm literally just gonna delete the rest of this layer. Let's create a new solid layer. Make sure that the color is white because this is going to be used in order to create that flash effect. Make sure it's right there. So we want this layer to appear next. So this is what we have so far. Already looks really dope. Next thing we're going to do is duplicate this eye layer and then bring that above all the other ones. Make sure you bring that forward. For this one, we're also gonna be creating that same effect where it's dark and then bright and then dark throughout this eye layer because the layer before, you know, we had this flash effect so it's only right that it goes back to dark and then so on. So let's create a new adjustment layer. Make sure it's only one frame, then add the exposure effect. Like I mentioned, I want this one to be really dark. So let's decrease this to I think around like negative five. Also just increase the offset just by a little. 0.01 looks good. Then we're going to duplicate this layer, bring it forward. And for this one, we obviously want it to be a lot brighter because the frame before it was a lot darker. So I'll increase this one to, let's just increase that to two and then increase the offset as well. I want this to be like really bright. So I'll increase that to 0.7 and then go forward one frame. And I'll just duplicate the adjustment layer from before, bring that above the eye layer. So it starts out dark and then gets bright again and then dark again. And to make this transition look even better, we're going to add a little bit of texture between all these clips or all these layers right here. So let's create another adjustment layer and then make sure it only covers the one frame layers. So it's about like 12 frames long. Let's add a mosaic. Once we add this effect, it creates that really pixelated look. Increase both the horizontal as well as the vertical blocks to 400 and that just creates that really low res look. Then we're going to add a noise, increase the amount of noise to around like 25%. And I'm also going to turn off the use color noise. And then for the final effect, we're gonna add a hue and saturation. We're going to decrease the master saturation. I'll decrease that to negative 20. And just like that, we have this one frame transitions. I think that looks really dope. And in order to create that final x-ray effect for the clip that it's going to transition into, let's create another adjustment layer. Make sure it's the same length as the clip that you're going to be transitioning into. And for this one, I'm going to be adding a preset from my grunge effects preset pack. I just created this, so if you're interested in that, I'll have the link down in the description. I'll just add the x-ray effect. And just like that, we have this really dope look. Also going to change the settings, decrease the glow intensity to zero. And then also just kind of bring down the highlights for the curves. I think that makes it look a lot better. This is what we have for the final look. So we have those really quick one frame flash wipe effects, and then it transitions into the clip with the x-ray effect. But that is all I have for this video. If you guys are interested in my editing packs, I'll have the link down in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.